Moving on to other stories now, chrysanthemums. They represent the arrival of fall. While there's year-long demand for the white flowers, most cultivated in Korea have been of foreign origin. Now, local researchers are seeking to change that trend. Ian Jin zooms in on the developments. This is the largest wholesale flower market in South Korea. All sorts of flowers are sold throughout the year based on the seasons and popular occasions. Making up 70% of the domestic market is the white chrysanthemum, most of which have Japanese origin. Efforts to promote white flowers of Korean origin has brought rise to the pekkang and pekma. They have very similar appearances to the Japanese chrysanthemum, but last longer and have a longer storage period. With more distributors and consumers learning about the pekkang and pekma, demand and market share are increasing very quickly. This flower is firmer and keeps its shape well, which makes it easier to store and distribute. It's better in many ways. A strong characteristic of the Korean chrysanthemum is that they have a short cultivation period and are resistant to pests. This makes them easy to grow and helps farmers reduce cultivation costs by up to 30 percent, meaning more profit. There's higher demand among farmers because it's resistant to pests and we get a better price for them. Feedback from both consumers and distribution experts show higher preferences and a willingness to repurchase local chrysanthemums. Consumers prefer these flowers and we can expand both domestic demand and exports. We'll continue research on breeding to make our flowers more competitive. The Rural Development Administration is working on promoting local horticulture as well as providing support for farmers in order to expand the cultivation of Korean chrysanthemums to meet the demands of both domestic and foreign markets. Growing international popularity for the pekgang and pekma may make them the next item on the Korean wave. Ian Jin, Arirang News.